Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today out in front of the Lakewood Public Library, and I'm here with Annie Stahlaber, who is a community organizer for LEAF, Lakewood Earth and Food Community. Thank you so much for meeting with us, Thank Annie. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you uh, work for the County Board of Health, that's right. right? And that's mm -hmm. kind of how you started hearing about this. Yes. But this was really a community organized kind of uh, a, a, an event, isn't it? I mean... Yeah, the um, volunteers uh, came from all sorts of different places, really. Um, I found out about it through Chris Trapp, who's a local volunteer. He okay. runs a local landscaping company and was interested in local food and gardening. Right. And Dance Life and Amy Bennett, Lynn Rodeman, Julie Breitenstein, right. and Rob Burgoyne. All these people just the came community. together. Yep. And they just really wanted to do something that where they got their food more local, right? I mean, isn't that yeah. really where it started? Yeah. Um, there, it was difficult to... Um, find really great local foods at the grocery store. Right. So um, we really were interested in community supported agriculture. We were familiar with other communities, you know, out, you know, in the, you know, way out in the burbs like Medina and Worcester areas where they could get community supported agriculture programs. There wasn't anything really locally. Oh, okay. Um, so we've heard about City Fresh program. And the City Fresh program goal is to get locally grown food into the cities. Right. So right. Um, it was really a perfect fit. Um, now talk about where this program started. The City, the City Fresh program. The City Fresh program is from the New Agrarian Center, and basically their mission is to improve food access to people within the city. Right. They were concerned that the grocery stores in the inner cities were not providing uh, appropriate, you know, nutrient high nutrient value foods right. at the grocery stores. It's and all so, prepackaged and processed foods and not really the fresh and stuff, And the vegetables right? and fruits were not local, yep. they were not healthy, yep. they were not fresh. And this so, is a national program, City no, Fresh? No, City Fresh is a local company, local organization. The New Agrarian Center is out of Oberlin, Ohio. Out of Oberlin, and okay. And the, um, the, they basically, they write grants, uh, they got some money from the USDA Community Food Project and they uh, that funded their staff, that funds their transportation. Gotcha. So all the local people who organize the Fresh Stops, that's what this is called, the Fresh Stop, right, right. is organized by volunteers. So, so talk do have about some part-time staff. So talk about what's happening here today, because we're out in front of the public library, mm -hmm. and we've got a bunch of people here who are coming basically to pick up their fresh produce that they've yes. ordered. Yes. It's called a Fresh Stop. Talk yes. about what happened today. Well, basically all the... Um, we have a driver that um, is paid for by the grant um, that the New Agrarian Center wrote. And the, the driver goes out to the farms, picks up the produce that was purchased. And by these are the local farms in the, yes. within the region? Yes, here. all within 75 miles. Wow. And the, all the food for all the West Side Fresh Stops that comes in on Thursdays comes into the Urban Community School in Ohio City. Gotcha. So um, all the volunteers meet the truck to. Um, unload the truck and then um, they divide it up depending on how right. much they need depending on how many people are picking it up so we've already got so, people that placed orders basically right. we, were, we started recruiting people like back in March for right, this right. and then getting people signed up and then obviously there's a draw from the street you know people walk up and say how can, can I, I get, get these yeah. vegetables it's great so, um, and you're kind of sold out tonight, right? We are sold out, uh, yes. All the food that's here has already been purchased. And so then you're signing up for next week mm -hmm. or the week mm -hmm. after. And they yes. get, what, either a full share or yes. a half share? Yes, depending on the size of your family. So if you're like three to four people, you'd need a full share. It's right. 20 bucks. And, and then, you don't really get to pick what's in this, right? I mean, you're no. getting fresh stuff. You mm -hmm. know you're going to be able to use right. it, but you're not placing an order for, I want six onions and right. four potatoes. Right, and it kind of takes us back to like the way the farmers used to do it right. where they would just have something fresh and drop it off to the city and sell it right from their truck sure so it was um more of a way you know we're eating locally we eat what's available during the season so that's kind of how city fresh is we get things that are available in ohio so we're not going to have bananas in our fresh stock we're not going <laughs> right. to have pineapple no. we're only going to have things that grow in ohio right and um some things are greenhouse grown so okay. like throughout the season they'll extend the season with um you know, lettuces in the hot summer because sure. they can grow them indoors or right, something right. like that. But mainly, what kind of uh, vegetables are we seeing that are locally grown that, that you're having available here for well, folks? Well, today we have tons of greens. We have lettuces, we have spinach, we have cooking greens, we have herbs, we have fresh strawberries, which is the highlight of the day. That's nice. I and, see a bunch um, of them behind you there. Throughout the season, it'll change. It depends on what, you know, the farmers are picking. 
Um, we get peaches, we get apples, we'll get other berries, um, different types of vegetables, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, right. different kinds of squashes, you know, patty pans. And a lot of things that we get are um, new. So, the, like, a lot of people that get them have they don't never know, tried them They don't before. know what to do with so them, So, it's right? part of the excitement, and we give out recipes right. and information so that they learn how to cook new foods. That's and, awesome. you know, trade recipes with different shareholders. It's really fun. There's other things that the LEAF program is involved in as yes. well. Community yes. Gardens is one yes. of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Community Gardening Program. Um, that's headed up by Amy Bennett, and um, they... Uh, the city has been very supportive with um, helping us access land for community gardens. We're putting in community gardens at four of the local parks, so that's Lake uh, Madison Park, Webb Park, Cove Park, and Kaufman Park, which I is wondered, actually right we, there. We, we were wondering <laughs> what the big dig was. We thought, yes. are they putting in another tennis court or something? No, they're it's putting a community in vegetables. Garden. So anyone, is there's still time to sign up. Um, they just actually tilled and got the leaf humus delivered. So um, there's there's registration forms for the community gardens available at both of the library branches. So people can um, sign up for their plot. Oh, that's and awesome! And it's a very low cost, and all of the money that's used for the co um, for the share for the plot for the, vet, um, the garden would be used in like the bigger project things like um, soil amendments or hoses or you know things that's shared by everybody. That's great. Mm -hmm. And you're doing other things as well. I mean, you're, you're st trying to start a bulk buying program, yes, is that right? Yeah, we're, we're looking for a bulk buying vendor. And then we're also really interested in um, continuing the cycle of food. So like here we get it, we're getting vegetables and then using those vegetable scraps to compost, to build soil. So teaching people about composting and then yep. eventually, hopefully starting a community compost pile. Which, is that right? Um, yes, which Chris Trapp's really working on that. Um, he is a landscaper, so he's familiar with like yeah, you know the, the different issues. ways of um, managing soil, also, and also what they do with like waste from the yards and things like that. So oh yeah. How that can be utilized to benefit the soil and like with. You're getting into vermicomposting. We got the worms in our basement. Yep. I don't know it. Yep. Um, vermicomposting is great um, because they actually die, you know they eat the, the worms eat and digest the vegetable scraps, and it right. creates more nutrients and for your paper. soil. And paper. Yes, and they eat paper, they eat leaves. It's basically our organic shredder. We get rid of yeah. our mechanical yeah. shredder. Yeah. We rip the paper and put it in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. And it works great. It's great. Hey, Annie, you're very busy here. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for taking time to talk well, no with problem. us. No problem. Thank you. It's Thank a pleasure. You. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.